October 4, 2014, in the province of Goa, India, a man named David Braganza was delivering drugs to a dealer. David said that he wanted to repent of being a drug courier and switch to a better normal job for the sake of his family but the dealer forbade him, not even paying David's wages. Treated like that, David was desperate to take back the bag containing the drugs. The struggle ensued. David, who was about to be shot, managed to grab the dealer's gun and kill him, but unfortunately, the patrol police who happened to be passing by saw the incident. David immediately ran away through the forest while carrying the bag. David managed to escape from pursuit and arrived at the new police station that was being built there. At that very moment, David accidentally saw Vijay Seldonkar burying the body of the child of the former Inspector General, Mira, and her husband Mahesh, whose name is Sam. After that, David returned to his house and asked his wife Mary to pack up immediately and take their child to run away from there without any reason given, but suddenly, the police came and surrounded the house. David ended up being arrested. Seven years have passed after Vijay and his family managed to escape being accused of murder. Up until now, nobody knew that Sam's body was buried under the floor of the new police station. Vijay has succeeded in becoming a cinema owner and because of his love and hobby for movies, Vijay planned to make a film. His wife Nandini, as well as his two children, Anju and Anu, were very supportive of their father. They had a couple Shiv and Jenny as a neighbor who often fights. For many years, Shiv who was unemployed and often drunk always asked his wife for money every day, he didn't even hesitate to use violence to get what he wanted. Seeing that, Nandini asked Vijay to separate them because when Anju was sick, it was Jenny who often helped to take care of her. When Vijay tried to end their fight, Shiv cursed him for interfering in their household, even saying that Vijay's family was indeed the killer of Sam, the child of the former inspector general. After Shiv was kicked out, Vijay asked Jenny to report to the police so they could help warn Shiv for doing domestic violence. As usual, Vijay stopped by Martin's tavern and saw local residents who saw him as a murderer. Then, Vijay went to his small business office. With his worker, Jose, Vijay monitored the security camera that had just been installed inside and outside of the office, the cinema, and his office in the cinema. Later, when Vijay arrived at his office in the cinema, Mahesh, Sam's father suddenly came. He flew from London to India for his son's funeral ceremony once a year. He visited Vijay to ask him the location where he buried Sam's body so that he could do the funeral ceremony with his son's remnant, but Vijay remained silent and did not want to bring up the case that was closed seven years ago. After that, Vijay met with a senior writer named Mirad to discuss the film script he had made based on Vijay's life experience. The next day, Vijay took his family out and threw a birthday party for his daughter Anu. Even though Vijay is super busy, he is still a father figure as well as a husband who really cared for and loved his family. His humble nature also brought him many friends. One of them is a gravekeeper named Savio. They had been friends for so long and Vijay had been so kind to him, even paying his daughter's school fees and marriage. On the other hand, Mahesh and Mira were having a funeral ceremony. Until now, Mira as a mother still couldn't accept Vijay's actions which killed her son but escaped from the sentence because Sam's body was not found and Vijay also has the perfect alibi. That night, Vijay met another friend named Caleb in a bar. Vijay had promised a part in the movie for Caleb for him to play later. Vijay said that the film's story had been published as a book and had only been printed a few dozen for copyright protection. Meanwhile, at the house, Nandini invited Jenny, the neighbor for a small talk. They were enjoying their time chatting to the point that Nandini almost blurted out how they killed Sam, the secret she and her family had been hiding for so long. The next morning, suddenly the police came which obviously made Anju very panicked. Vijay calmed her down and told her never to be afraid and acted as usual. It turned out that the arrival of the police was because Jenny reported her husband's actions and they knew the complaint had been suggested by Vijay and Nandini who often saw domestic violence from Shiv. The police warned Shiv so that he would stop his actions and if another complaint was issued, he would immediately be jailed. Since the incident of Sam's murder which she accidentally did in her self-defense, Anju often had nightmares and even suffered from PTSD that often led to seizures. Meanwhile, David, the former drug courier was finally freed from prison and went straight to his house to make amends for his guilt for leaving his wife and children who do not have enough money for their daily needs. David decided to go out and look for a job. He arrived at Martin's tavern and asked if someone might have a vacancy. Martin immediately suggested he asked Vijay, but unfortunately, Vijay still hadn't opened the vacancy yet. David who hadn't seen Vijay's face since seven years ago had a hunch that he might have seen him before but couldn't put his mind to it. 
That night Vijay once again met Caleb in his office for drinks until he was badly drunk and unconscious. Meanwhile, Nandini was chatting with Jenny at home, and because they had been friends for a long time, Nandini who really trusted Jenny finally told her what happened to Sam, but she didn't mention Sam's name at all. In another place, a police officer named Solid picked up Gaetande, the corrupt police that had been dismissed seven years ago for abusing Vijay's family. They were both asked to meet the new inspector general named Tarun Alavad, a man who is a very eccentric, genius, and has his own way of uncovering each case in great detail. Soon, Mira came along with two intel who turned out to be Jenny and Shiv. Turned out, Tarun had been a friend of Mira since they were in the police academy. When she replaced Mira as inspector general, he started tracking down all information related to Vijay. When they both found out that Vijay was selling part of his land, that's where the plan started. Mira bought the land under the name of Shiv to make a house, then Shiv and Jenny were asked to act as a family of domestic violence for the last two years. Jenny was also asked several times to help Nandini to help her get closer to Nandini. Apart from that, the two of them had secretly installed tappers at many points in Vijay's house as well as Jenny who always recorded her conversations with Nandini, until finally, last night, Nandini told Jenny that only Vijay who knew where the body was because seven years ago, before the police dug the grave in their yard, Vijay had secretly moved the core somewhere else. The next day, Tarun came back to reconstruct the chronology of what happened seven years ago with Salant and Gaitande. On October 2nd, Sam was killed. Then the next day, on October the 3rd, Vijay returned home to and drowned Sam's car at the abandoned mine to eliminate suspicion. After that, to support his alibi, Vijay made false evidence that obscured the date of the incident such as the bus tickets, the security camera footage at the ATM, and the receipts that he somehow manipulated. Then on the evening of the 3rd, around 1 in the morning, Vijay moved Sam's corpses when everyone was sleeping. Tarun could even analyze to the point when Vijay went home at exactly 4.30 in the morning because an hour later, he and his family left to take the bus to Panaji. In the span of three and a half hours, Vijay definitely needed two hours to dig and bury the corpse which means, he needed 90 minutes trip to go to the place where he buried the corpse. That means the furthest he could go within that given time is about 45 kilometers from his house, therefore, in order to find out the travel route, Salant and Gaitande were ordered to ask people within a 45 kilometers radius who worked early in the morning today. Tarun even awarded a big sum of money to anyone who could provide leading information for the case, but unfortunately, no one saw it or even remember that since it happened seven years ago. Then, Salant got the info that there was a theater event on October 3rd every year that lasted until midnight and one of Vijay's neighbors named Subash attended the event. When they asked about it, Subash remembered seeing Vijay going home in a jeep around 4.00 to 4.30 in the morning. He could clearly remember that because at that time, he just came back after buying an inhaler for his wife who had sudden asthma. He said that he saw Vijay come back from the shortcut to his office. Tarun realized that there were too many possible locations where Vijay moved the corpse. He knew that Vijay would place the body in an unusual place. He then made a plan to help them find the location. Tarun then came to Vijay's house and met Nandini and her two daughters because Vijay was not there at that time. He introduced himself as the new inspector general replacing Mira. He said that his only purpose in visiting them was to have small talk, but everything that he said intimidated them, like saying that he hated an innocent person getting punished while the guilty side can live freely. He praised them for caring about Jenny and Shiv's domestic violence case, saying that their family was a law-abiding family. Shortly after Tarun left, Jenny came in hurry and told Nandini that the police were about to search for Sam's corpse at the church that they suspected to be the place where the corpse was buried. She told Nandini to tell her husband. Nandini who was already in terror immediately called Vijay to come home. She then told Vijay about it in their room. Turned out, this was all Tarun's plan to lure Vijay to tell the real location where he buried the body. On the other side, Jenny and Shiv were listening to their conversation via the tappers they installed in their room before. Vijay told Nandini to keep calm. Instead of biting the lure, Vijay acted calmly and still kept the location to himself. Tarun's plan was ruined. After that, Vijay came to the police station to meet Salant to reveal that his family was indirectly being terrorized by the police who constantly suspected them of being guilty. On the other hand, David was going to Panaji since he found a job there, but before going, he stopped at Martin's Tavern. There, he heard some men talking about Vijay's case which was again investigated by the police and they assumed that Vijay had cleverly moved the body somewhere. One of the men said that the police had asked a lot of people if they saw Vijay on the night of October the July 3rd years ago and would reward anyone with good information a lot of money. David heard that and got intrigued but since he didn't realize yet what he heard, he just left to get his bus, 
but when he was waiting for the bus in front of the police station, he saw VJ coming out from there and the memory struck him. He finally remembered that on October 3rd seven years ago, when he was chased by the police, he saw VJ burying Sam's body and came out of the place at the exact angle as he saw now. David immediately reported it to the police, saying that he knew where the body was buried. That night, Mira, Tarun, Gaitonde, and Sawan came to meet him. There, David said that he would tell the location after he received the reward in advance. After receiving the reward, David told them that the body was buried right below them, beneath the floor of the police station. That was why Vijay was very confident because nobody would expect him to bury the body right beneath the police station. It didn't take long for Tarun to take care of the excavation permit for the office and the work was carried out early in the morning. After the workers dug deep enough, the police finally found it. Human bones belonging to Sam were finally found. At Vijay's house, he and his family were about to go out. Vijay checked the security camera before going. From the footage, he saw the police station covered with green curtains and lots of crowds there. Vijay immediately called Jose and after receiving information that the police were having an excavation there, Vijay asked his wife and daughters to stay inside. He promised to always protect his family at all costs. Some officers came to clean and take the boxes containing the bones to the forensic lab and at the same time, Vijay saw officers had brought those boxes. After waiting for news from the forensics for several days, Mira and Mahesh met Tarun in his office. Forensic results found that the skeleton was that of a 15 to 20 years old male with a crack in the skull and was declared dead due to trauma to the head, a similar feature to Sam, but Tarun still needed to test the DNA by sending the bones and also asking for Mira and Mahesh's blood sample to match them. Based on these findings, the court allowed the police to interrogate Vijay's family for eight hours. Shortly thereafter, Vijay and his family came to the police station for interrogation. The Tarun showed David's photo as the witness who saw Vijay burying Sam's body at the police station. After that, Mira came with her two intel, Shiv and Jenny, then played the tape containing Nandini's voice saying that Vijay had moved the body. Tarun brought Vijay for closed interrogation. He asked him the culprit who murdered Sam, the reason behind the murder, and how the murder was carried out, but Vijay was still firm in his answer that he and his family did not know anything about the murder. Tarun then told Gaitande to bring Vijay's family and tortured them right in front of him for not telling the truth. Vijay begged to stop the torture, especially because Anju might have epilepsy. The torture didn't stop until Anju started having seizures. Seeing his daughter like that, Vijay finally gave up and begged the torture to be stopped. He said he would tell the truth. Vijay's confession was recorded but without Tarun's realizing, what Vijay said was different from the original incident where on October 2, 2014, Nandini and her two daughters were out for a walk, and Vijay who was alone at home saw a teenager sneaking in. Feeling suspicious, he took a stick and hit the teenager until he fell down and hit his head which immediately killed him. Vijay, who was scared, buried his body in the yard but was immediately moved to the police station because he felt it was safer, until finally, he found out that the teenager was Sam, the son of the former Inspector General, Mira. Vijay successfully fooled Tarun and made an alibi to save his family. After the confession, the media came to Vijay's house. Vijay tried to calm Nandini down who blamed herself for unconsciously telling the secret they had been hiding. Anju and Anu were also very scared. The next day, the news was spreading fast, saying that Sam's body was finally found and Vijay was suspected of the murder. Mirad, the senior writer, was very surprised to hear the confession. Meanwhile, Vijay was brought to the court for trial. When the trial started, Murad arrived to meet Tarun, Mira, and Mahesh in the office. He was there to tell something about a very important fact about Vijay. His first meeting with Vijay was in 2016 or two years after the disappearance of Sam. Vijay introduced his name not as Vijay Salgonkar, but as Vijay Godbol. At that time, Murad did not realize that Vijay was the suspect in Sam's murder who managed to get away. Vijay met Murad to tell him about the script that would be made into a film, Murad was very impressed with this extraordinary story and accepted to work on the script without any hesitation. Vijay said that he had a condition that filming would not take place until they both agreed on the script of the film. The film by Vijay told the story of a teenager named Yatin who was loved by his father, Ram. One day, he was at a party with his girlfriend. Another teenager suddenly came and flirted with his girlfriend. Yatin reminded him not to flirt with her but that boy didn't care. Yatin then immediately hit him and a fight broke out there. Turned out the boy was the son of a well-known contractor. The boy didn't like how he was treated and decided to meet Yatin at his house. 
The fight broke out again until finally, Yatin accidentally pushed the teenager away until he hit his head and died. Ram who just came home and saw his son was very scared. He found the teenager's dead body and immediately buried the dead body in the new building belonging to the teenager's father which was being built in order to protect his son and family. After that, Ram made a fake confession to save his family. He admitted that he was the one who killed the boy to save his son. Essentially, the script was exactly like Vijay's life story. Murat said that Vijay had published the story into a book a year ago on limited basis so as not to lose the copyright. The book was published under the name of Murad, even the bill for the publishing was under Murad's name too, even though he was the one paying for it. At the same time, the judge saw Vijay's video confession and his lawyer said that the confession video had to be done because his family was tortured right in front of his eyes. His lawyer then showed a book entitled Drishyam, which was published under Murad's name, where the whole story in it is exactly the same as the police's statement, which means that Vijay's case was purely fictitious, it's just a composition by the police who took the story from the book. Not long after, the results of the DNA test came, which turned out to be that the human skeleton was not Sam's. In his office, Tarun was getting angrier because a man who had not even graduated from elementary school was again able to deceive the police. He asked Murad about the ending of the film. Murad then explained that Vijay wanted the main protagonist to win at the end of the film. Vijay then asked Murad who knew the police very well. He asked the information about how the forensics worked. He then found out that forensics would determine the basic information about the body and later would send the body to do a DNA test. After knowing about that, Vijay knew that the police would sooner or later find the body buried beneath the police station, so he tried to search for news about a murder that had similarities with Sam. After he found the body, he made friends with Savio the gravekeeper. He helped him through his hard times and gained his trust. From Savio, he received information on how long it would take for a corpse to turn into a skeleton, one day, Savio had debt and Vijay helped to pay it off. After he gained Savio's trust, he then asked for his help to get the skeleton that he needed for the sake of his job. Savio who already trusted him decided to help him. Not only that, Vijay tried to get close to Caleb who turned out to be the security at the forensic lab starting from their first meeting in the bar, he found out that Caleb was a weak drinker. He often treated him to drink and over time, gained his trust too. He also found out that Khaled wanted to play in a movie and promised him a part in his movie later. He finally had the ace under his sleeve. When the fated day when the police found Sam's skeleton under the police station, Vijay had prepared the skeleton to replace Sam's real skeleton. He took it from a secret compartment under his desk in his office. When the police take Sam's skeleton to the forensic lab, Vijay used his connection with Khaled to get into the office. He then treated Khaled to some drinks which made him heavily drunk and lost consciousness. After that, he took the replacement skeleton and took Sam's skeleton with him from there. He could easily do his action there because he knew from Caleb that the forensic lab didn't have any security cameras around. After that, Vijay went to a vacant lot far from settlements to burn the skeleton into ashes to get rid of the evidence. Seeing the incompatible from the DNA test, the judge decided to acquit Vijay of all charges. His lawyers also petitioned the high court to stop this obscure case forever and kept Vijay away from any more disturbance related to Sam's murder case. Just like at the end of the film script, the protagonist went away proven not guilty. Vijay walked past the police who couldn't do anything even though they knew the truth. He passed Tarun and Sam's parents, Mira and Mahesh, who had to accept their defeat for the second time. Vijay could not look them in the eye, because, despite knowing that he was indeed guilty, he had to do all this to protect his family. After the trial, the judge asked Tarun to meet him to discuss Vijay's case which the judge knew was taken from a novel. Tarun only replied with his certainty that the police knew the truth but couldn't prove it because of a lack of evidence. It turned out that Vijay still had some of Sam's bones which he burned to ashes and then sent to Mahesh's house along with a letter saying his wish to never get any more disturbance. After that, Mira and Mahesh threw their son's ashes into the sea as a form of custom. Even though Mira's heart as a mother still couldn't accept it, she had to accept the reality. Vijay who saw them from afar, felt relieved because he could fulfill Mahesh's request. At the end of the film, Vijay took his family on a trip. Inside his heart, Vijay said that his family is his world. He could do anything, even beyond the limit, if his family was in danger.